Good morning my creative friends and welcome to another beautiful day with watercolor mandala inspired by this morning rainbow. Enjoy the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss every time I upload a new video. Hello everyone. Today I started my mandala already on my paper and I'm just laying out the guidelines which this time I just did every 30 degrees on my protractor. So if you want to see how to lay out a mandala and you don't know then you'll have to watch the other videos in the mandala series. Just click the playlist in the description box and you will see how to lay out this mandala exactly. You'll notice that this mandala starts out a little bit different than the other ones that I have done on this channel. And it's nice to switch things up a little bit, I think. And for all the supplies that I'm using today, you can get the links to those in the description box below. I like using the fine line water resistant markers because when I put the watercolors on, they don't bleed like some of the other markers would. So I recommend if you are doing watercolors, then by all means, make sure you have a waterproof marker that you're using because even the pen, ballpoint pen will bleed if you put the watercolors on after. So I've done this both ways. I've put the watercolor on before and I put the watercolor on after. And I do have to say, it's a lot easier to draw your mandala first and then put the watercolor on after you've put your ink on. And that's just from using experimentation on my channel. So you will see both versions. Do whatever you like. There's no wrong, there's no right. It's just the way I like how they turn out better when the watercolor goes on after. I did a few different variations, as you notice right here things become a little asymmetrical. Um, not exactly the same as what you would expect. So this is where this mandala turns out a little bit different. And I do like how it turned out. So now you can vary up what you do when you do a mandala. It doesn't have to be exactly the same all the way around but it kind of is and it isn't, <laughs> if you know what I mean. You'll see, just keep watching. Any questions you'd like to ask me about creating mandalas and watercolors or doodling or drawing or lettering, whatever it is, by all means comment down below. I do respond to all of my comments that I receive on my videos. And um, this way I can help you progress with your drawing. Just remember there is no right, there's no wrong, and it's great to experiment and have fun with what you're doing. I really like how I switched things up on this mandala, and I love the way it is turning out. And you will see in the end exactly how it turns out. But I vary, as you can tell, the lines that I'm drawing on one side and the other, and how I fill them in. Every time you create a piece like this, there's a message in it for you, and it depends on how you read the piece. And I do have a course on this, it's called The Art of Intuitive Doodling, but it is very relaxing and peaceful to create a mandala. And you do get the healing benefits from it. 
And if you'd like to learn out more about how that occurs, then you can just contact me and I can give you insight or you can visit my website at elizabethsampson.com and read up more on it. So I just switch up the size of my marker and fill in a little bit more um, so that you can, the black is really solid and you can see hopefully no lines in it. So now that outlining is complete, I'm going to start to rip this out of my book and I will tape this on to a piece of glass that I have. Now, I do need to get something besides this glass, it's just a picture frame cover. And then what you're going to see is my inspiration from the rainbow that I saw this morning and the colors, the orange and the turquoise that I picked out from that beautiful rainbow and of course a little bit of gray for the rain and the clouds that were around this morning and I do do something different here obviously I'm not coloring on the mandala and let me know if you like that in the comment section below I'd love to hear your words on it So guys, if you like what you see here, make sure to subscribe to my channel, click the bell for notifications so you don't miss every time I upload a new video. And if you like watercolor mandalas, by all means, click on this video here on the screen. And if you like Procreate tutorials, then by all means, click on this video. And I'll see you again. Take care, everyone.